TV, and I'm Tyler. And I'm Annika, and today is Wednesday, May 5th. You know what that means. Cinco, Cinco de Mayo. Mayo. <laughs> <laughs> you only have 15 school days until graduation, and we want you also to be a part of your senior video. And attention all seniors, this Friday is the deadline to turn in your five second video into the Google Classroom Mr. Smith and Miss Perry sent to you last week. It will be an awesome videos, it will be an awesome video, so get in your five second video in ASAP. The finished video will premiere on YouTube shortly after graduation, which happens to be May 26th at 10 a.m. on the football field. And senior week is the week of May 17th, and to kick it off, there will be a spring dance on Saturday, May 15th. Testing will no longer be required, but it's still on the football field. Then on the week, then on the week of senior week, there will be a chalk party, a graduation parade, pickleball, and the Rush Funplex, and of course, the final assembly on the 21st. There's a graduation party this year, and it's going to be at the Rush Fun Center in Syracuse. Don't confuse this with senior week. This one is hosted by the PTSA, and it's the night of graduation beginning at 10.30 p.m. There will be prizes, all-you-can-eat pizza and drinks, a photo booth, plus all of the rides. Tickets are $30 prepaid and $40 at the door. Get your tickets now, seniors. And now it's time for some club news. Speaking of the library, they're having their final drawing on May 10th, and if you are eligible for this, if you have ever participated in any of their events, they also have an important message about paying your fines and turning in your books. And FCCLA. Good morning, Wolves. I'm Allie, and I'm here today in our library. Yay. So we all know that the school year is drawing to a close, and you know what that means? Returning our library books. The librarians want you to know that the final deadline for all library books for this school year is May 14th. Hear that? May 14th. After then, your fines will start occurring, and that means that some of you seniors may have a problem with graduating. That means when you get your cap and gown and you're starting to check out, your fines are going to get in your way. So let's avoid that. Let's get our books turned in on time or even early, right? Teachers, if you have books out, those are due May 21st, so the next week. And if you have lost your book or if you've misplaced it, please come talk to librarians and they can maybe work out a solution or talk about replacing the book. But yeah, come get those turned in. You don't want those fines, okay? Let's end this school year well. And FCCLA is looking for club officers for next year. If you are interested, please see Mrs. Roundy, Mrs. Wilson, or Mrs. Carter for an application. And all National Art Honor Society members who are seniors, if you want to order graduation cords, please pay the bookkeeper $14 and take your receipt to Monterith by May 4th, which was yesterday. So I hope you got those in. <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> to go along with that, news about the NAHS. They will be having a mini art show social on the 20th to get ready for Uh, to get ready for that, they will be yeah. having an art night tomorrow after school where they will be painting and drawing and just creating some art. So all you NH NAHS members, be there. And if you enjoyed family and consumer science classes, then you should be a member of FCCLA. Better yet, be an FCCLA officer. Please see Mrs. Roundy, Wilson, or Carter for applications. And tomorrow, Coach Thomas is holding dance tryouts. So if this is something you plan on doing, make sure you register and talk with Coach Thomas ASAP. And auditions for the award-winning Fremont Choirs are now being held. They're being held virtually, so you need to contact Mr. Anderson for more information or just go to the choir website, which is soundofthepack.org. Mr. Smith is starting a new class. That's right, it's a drone class. You will learn to fly drones and prepare to get your pilot's license. You don't have to have a drone to take this course. If this piques your interest, please go and talk with your counselor or Mr. Smith ASAP. That's pretty lit. Yeah. And finally, the Hope Squad is celebrating Bob Ross Day this Friday, and they want everyone to dress up. If you do dress up, go to the counseling center in your best Bob Ross attire, and you will get a prize. They're also having some painting activities during both lunches on Friday. Remember, there are no mistakes, just happy accidents. And now let's head to the locker room for Sports with Allie.
Happy Cinco de Mayo! <coughs> Thank you, Tanner. All right, well, let's start it off with soccer. The boys' soccer team spoiled Northridge's senior night by defeating the Knights 1-0. Jaron Fields finished the eventual game winning to give the Wolves the victory. They play their senior game tomorrow evening against 5.30 at, against Davis. And the baseball team played a back-to-back -back with Weber on Monday and Tuesday, and on Monday they shut out the Warriors 4-0. Nice. Then last night they scored eight runs to give the Wolves the two-game sweep by beating Weber 8-2. It's now on to the playoffs for the baseball team. Good luck, Wolves. And the softball team played Northridge last night and scored six runs in the third inning, which propelled them to a 12-1 win for their senior game. Miley Hill and Staley Hadley had home runs, while Whitney Weston had three ribbies. They are at Clearfield this Thursday evening to finish up region play. And the tennis team lost to Layton 1-4. Dang it. Luke Holmes and Ethan Ingles Inglesby won their doubles match. They begin region tournament tomorrow and Friday. Good luck, gentlemen. And the girls' golf team did not place in the top two in their last tournament. Their position is unknown. And girls lacrosse provided another dominating performance against Northridge last night for their senior game by winning 18 to three. <laughs> Dang girls. Taylor Goodwin led all scores with five goals. They play at Davis tomorrow. And meanwhile, the boys lacrosse also defeated the Knights 13 to five to give the Wolves another victory against Northridge. They are at Davis tomorrow night. And the track team has a big invite this week on Friday down at Mountain Ridge starting at 3 p.m. And then they have the region meet next week. Go and support Wolves. And listen up, all you seniors, the Senior Silver Line is back on for the final assembly on May 21st. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. If you're interested in this, pick up an application from Misty's room or from the bookkeeper's office. They're due up this upcoming Monday, May 10th, to a Silver Line member or to the office. Seriously, do it. It's going to be so fun. And that's it for sports. Back to you, at the, you two at the desk. And the theater department is accepting applications and auditions for various classes next year. If you have any questions, please talk with Mrs. Obrey. And yearbook is taking applications for staff next year. Go and visit Mrs. Hall in room A105 for more information. And sophomores and juniors, if you're planning on taking the ACT over the summer, go to the counseling office and get a test prep study guide. They want you to feel as prepared as possible. And if you think it's too late to get the Kim Hatch Scholarship, well, you're not. It ended last Friday, but they extended it until today. Yay! So go and see Mrs. Jo Miss Jones in the Counseling Center today. And seniors, if you have been involved with anything while you've been at Fremont, go to the office and get a Spirit Paw Award form. You may have earned one. It's due next Monday, um, so get them in ASAP. That's it for Pack TV. Thanks for watching, and have a productive day, Wolves. Thank you.